good morning um it's a really beautiful day today it is much cooler out here than it's been here in texas um i just want to share some joy this morning um and i'm hoping that the joy that i feel transfers to this video um, regarding legend's health and his updates right now so the last update and i also want to say this this update is not going to be nearly as long as the last one i'm going to condense as, condense as much as possible um last time i updated we were at 19 days here in the icu today actually makes um hold on we are on day 36 give or take one i may be a little off i mean it's been a long time so i'm starting to lose track of the days to be honest um i think this is day 36 though and last video i left i was sharing that we were going to be having a big meeting it was on a saturday when i made the video and i shared that we were going to be having a big meeting with the doctors on that upcoming tuesday to decide if legend was going to need a trait so that actually did not happen because the abscess that he had actually took precedence over meeting about the trait. The abscess was growing larger, so the infection was spreading more through his body. So they had to go ahead and do a um, kind of like an emergency washout procedure, which was like another surgery because they did have to go in. It was invasive and they ended up putting another drain, hooking up another drain to him to drain out that infection. So that happened and they just, the whole trait conversation was just put off to the side because it was just irrelevant at that moment. Getting the infection out of his body was the, was the most important thing that we had to address at the moment. So that was a little unsettling, of course, because we were looking forward to, you know, the meeting, thinking that we were going to be getting some answers quicker, but it didn't work out that way. But it ended up being a blessing because Legend, um, his body has really healed a lot from that. He hasn't been having fevers lately. His white blood count cells are down. Um, everything's just trending in the right direction to show that he's been clearing and beating this infection. Um, so basically where we've been over the last, since the last time after he got that procedure, is just waiting and allowing his body to heal from all of the traumas that it went through. So with that procedure, that made five procedures that he's had within this 30 something day stay that we've been here. So his body has been through a lot. So his body had a lot of healing to do and it wasn't an overnight process. So that's why there really haven't been any more updates to share because everything has just been kind of slow process. I mean, slow progress, but still progress nonetheless. So we celebrate that. Um, so yeah. That's where we are um, right now. Um, the goals are to work to get him off of the ventilator because they really believe that he may not need the ventilator, actually. They realize more and more since seeing him that the problems with his breathing were coming from the infections in his stomach and being constipated and having all of the backup and blockages, just making him work really hard to breathe. And since we've been giving that stuff more time to clear up, all the inflammation from the surgeries and the cutting and the pulling and the putting drains in, his lungs have been improving. So there is a chance that he may not even need the trach, which will be great because, you know, ultimately we didn't want him to have one initially anyway. So um, that's where we are, but he's been doing well, weaning slowly um, on the ventilator settings with having him go down, letting him do more of the work on his own with breathing and he's doing great. His x-rays are looking good every day. Each day, the x-ray looks a little bit better than the day before, which we could only, you know, just be grateful for that. So that's good news. Um, his stomach is healing, inflammation is going down, he needs less pain medicine. They actually got to take out one of the drains today that are, that was coming out of his side of his abdomen. So they took out one of those drains today, which is great. So now he only has one drain in, working to get the other one out, but we're going to take it slowly. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, they were able to start his feedings. So he's starting slow feeds through his G button, which are going great. So, goals are 
Continue to lean down ventilator settings so that he can breathe on his own. Continue to increase his feed to, to where he gets back on his normal feeding regimen that he was on at home before we came in. And then just allow his um, body to continue to heal from the infection and get that other JP drained out of his side. So those are the goals right now that we're working on each day. They've been weaning down his sedation medication, which has made me really happy. I've been really pushing for that uh, because it's so hard seeing him sedated. But we do have to keep the breathing tube safe. Today, I actually asked them to get him some gloves for his hands and then get the little jackets for his arms. They don't really like to use them because the, the jackets on the arms are kind of restricted. But in this case, I would rather his arms be restricted than you keep pumping him with medicine to keep him sedated. So that's where we are with that. Um, I've been able to hold him and actually get to hold my baby lately, which has really made me happy. Um, so that's been great news. And then also, um, what else? There's more great news. I believe I'm missing something. One second. Let's see. I think that's it actually. So he's tolerating feeds, going down on the ventilator set. The stomach is getting better. Sedation is going down. Everything is just trending in the right direction. The doctors just keep reminding me that time and patience is what we need right now because his body is just healing, but it's healing appropriately. So we just have to wait this thing out. So we appreciate all of the, you know, all of the prayers, all of the texts, all of the phone calls, all of the kind, generous gestures that anyone has given to our family during this time. Thank you so much for keeping Legend Lifted in prayers. Just continue to, you know, send good thoughts and prayers and love his way. He is going to beat this. He is doing great. Um, he also has a really good doctor this week. Well, the doctors here have been great, just phenomenal through our whole stay. But he did get a new doctor this week for this particular week that hasn't seen him at all. And it's been so good to have just fresh eyes on him um, because the fresh perspectives have brought new things to light. He's challenging things. He's His energy, he's like ready to get the ball rolling on certain things. Let's take sedation down. Let's do this, let's do that, which I really love that energy. He's following through with everything he said that he would do at the beginning of this week. So everything is just trending in the right direction. So that is our update right now, day 36. Uh, when there is more to share, I will share it. But until then, just continue to keep him lifted and you'll be legend strong.